Hello, Harald. Harald? Hi, Alexandra. I can How hear you. How are you? I'm fine. It's a sunny and warm day in, in Germany, just summer-like. Yeah. And uh, I'm talking with Harald Kautz, German scientist who is maybe most well known for his research of uh, black goo. But could you please introduce yourself and your research and what you are planning to do, what you are doing now? Um, yeah, I, I had wide, wide fields of research covering geoengineering, climate engineering of the friendly sort, like there's a greening project in Algeria. Uh, from from uh, geoengineering, I stepped into military technologies, understanding them from there into transhumanistic technologies um, used by the intelligence community, connected to the military smart dust technology. And this basically understanding transhumanism brought me into understanding the black magic tradition and the black magic cults. So th this was kind of where it got interesting because these were the first one to respond and counter attack against the uh, published truth. So we had kind of a long period of intense uh, clashes with a, with a, a black magic community, not from the people running it, but from the invisible side of it. So uh, when, when you face things, you start to learn how they function, how they work. And uh, it was basically what, what was keeping me busy um, for the last two and a half, three years, surviving and learning how they work and what we actually deal with just learning from every single different attack. So uh, I think I, we, we are now at the point where we can understand all layers of this uh, origin and all layers of the black magic cults and traditions. And as you can see, I'm still alive and kicking, so. Um, yeah, it's good. And you are farming also. <laughs> you have a little also. farm. Yeah, one one hectare, one hectare family. Business. Oh, it's not no, little. No, no, just for self. It's not little, but it's still a just for, for self-supply oh. and to cover family and friends. Yeah. And your research, uh, is it uh, last time we were talking about autism, I believe, that you were researching? Yeah, these, yes, yes. These are all single aspects of... Um, of the transhumanistic or, or black magic approach to humanity. And if you talk about autism in, in single terms, it's the emptied shell to contain a bio robot that is not there still, or that mm -hmm. is not in action still. So, so the human soul lost access to the body. So the body basically is free, but with auti autistic children, you just have the, the demonic babies on board. They're not fully grown yet, so they don't function as a being. Uh, I do know autistic people of older age who fully function, but they serve the other agenda because they are already acting as bio robots. So um, uh, with children, there's still time to uh, basically treat the biochemical situation these uh, poor children are in to revert to reverse the process of uh, taken over by by these transhumanistic uh, black magic technologies mm. there's a lot of talk about uh, vaccinations and all part of the program it yeah. all ties in Every, all, all the thing where you, 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 can, you can make a law out of this wherever governments uh, go crazy and irrational, like mm -hmm. with Monsanto's products, with vaccinations, uh, all these things, with chemtrails, denial of obvious things, like crazy, just completely crazy. Wherever this craziness appears, you can count that uh, this is one of the um, main aspects, main uh, fragments of the overall concept. That needs to be introduced, so rationality doesn't count anymore. So they they do completely stupid things, illegal mm. things, stupid things, irrational things, I just to get it into. Mm. I don't know if you have seen the current uh, case in the United States. I believe it was mother, uh, divorced father, 
and she didn't want her child, her boy, gets shots, vaccinations. Mm -hmm. They put her to prison and uh, the child, because the father wanted to, the child to be vaccinated and they have vaccinated the child with four vaccinations. And what was interesting for me that when she was standing there in the mainstream media, her lawyer, I believe, he was doing a pyramid sign, you know, mm. so, so that he was on the side of the other part, obviously, and he demonstrated it. Now we will target her in and show her for the other ones how you will be targeted. It's so ugly. Yes, yes and no. I mean, yes and yes, but, but there is a different aspect to this. Um, what, what we learned during the years of confrontation is um, when, when you ever uh, go through these confrontations within the drama triangle, which means, oh, there's a bad guy who is attacking you and I'm either the poor victim or I'm the hero that needs to fight the villain down to save others. As long as you move in this drama structure and project the problem and the solution to the outside, you basically live in this satanic realm and you, you, you kind of live in a fully controlled gaming environment that you cannot leave because you're addicted to the game. And whenever I hear, I hear these stories of people who suffer so much, who have so many big problems with the system, who are victimized, I regard this as a free choice. They gain, at a certain point, gain their emotional profit from the position on the gaming level. And uh, this is free choice. You might as well just transit out of the game, uh, the, the gaming level, and go in full self-responsibility. And then uh, things look completely different and suddenly become solvable without colliding with anything. If I'm kind of fighting my inner demons, uh, I can either stand there and fight them, and then I'm lost, or I can just regard uh, myself as the one who has poisoned his body to a degree, to a degree where demons can survive inside me. And then I have the ability to, be, to go into self-responsibility, say, okay, I detox, I cleanse my body, and then the demons cannot survive within me. And I don't even need to fight. Mm -hmm. You see? Uh, also, with the, the example you gave, the mother that is in trouble because uh, she doesn't want to have vaccinations for a child, it's a good idea not to give vaccinations. And if I want to do this in peace, I just find a doctor that I trust, Tell him, could you please sign the papers that this child is vaccinated so that I can live in peace with a health, healthy child? Just find the one doctor who is willing to, to sign the paper and throw the vaccines into the, into the dustbin. And then there's no discussion with an ex-husband. There's no discussion with health authorities. It's about, do I want to fight this in public because I want to feel like a hero? Or do I just want to live a peaceful life with all the solutions I can imagine? And there's always a peaceful path to a solution. And as long as there's just a, a, a view of the world where I need to struggle to get anywhere, I can, I can be close to sure that I'm actually still caught in my own drama triangle. And I, out of free will, join a world that is ruled by the one who has prepared this gaming level for us to catch our emotional um, interactions in a completely controlled environment because there's nothing that this entity fears more than our emotional abilities, especially the heart abilities. Yeah. Harald, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, after this conference in Prague from the mm. reality that I have organized and you were a speaker, uh, of eight of us, three of us, uh, got targeted by legal mm. offices, you know, who these 
are and uh, I am one and uh, in my case it's total miscarriage of justice, total lies that I have said that I don't pay health insurance. I have and I pay every month my health insurance and before I pay to the employee. So I can, so primitive lies that I can just go and mm. get a paper here you say, see, I pay every month social and so, so, and uh, I know you, you was, you were the one who talk about it a little bit. Uh, you spoke last time mm. that I know was, uh, it was Miles Johnson, wasn't it? But you was not. You yeah, not he, he, he blew blew the the case wide open, kind of uh, believing that I was already in jail, and he, he kind of pushed uh -huh. a bit of panic yeah, yeah. in public. Yeah, yeah. It's still in the first steps, and uh, personally, I'm completely relaxed with the issue. Mm -hmm. I think the the English term in my case is hate speech. Yeah, Which also is completely ri ridiculous because I had an interview with a lady from the right wing spectrum with uh, latent to open anti Semitic uh, uh, points of view. And I actually represented the Jewish side. And she pushed me into admitting certain historic truths, or some of them I even wanted to announce. Uh, uh, from my side and now I'm charged for, for uh, hate speech because uh, I uh, said something against the current politics of the state of Israel and I said something uh, regarding the qualities of anti-Semitism within entire Europe, kind of comparing Germany to other parts of Europe in a way that is not usually done in the school books. Uh, but I derived this from my Jewish education. I mean, I grew up with the Encyclopedia uh, Judaica, and uh, there are chapters and chapters on on anti-Semitism in Ukraine and Poland and Russia. And uh, these horror stories were completely different quality than what was experienced on the streets of Germany. I, I explicitly ex excluded the state-run anti-Semitism during World War II. Just said the, the atmosphere and the things happening out of the free will of the people on the streets could not be compared to what happened in countries like Ukraine, Poland and Russia in quality. It was much worse in the Eastern countries than in Germany. Completely excluding the concentration camps and other things that were done on behalf of state commands. And these were the things that at the end turned to, to, to charging me for uh, hate speech uh, in the connection with uh, the Jewish topic. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know what they're going to, to do with it. I, I just handle this in a... Um, in a kind of Tai Chi way. If, if somebody is attacking you, you just observe what is happening. And if there's nothing to be attacked, like in my case, I feel completely on the peaceful side of, of the universe, um, then you just need to very closely watch the energies approaching and uh, redirect them into a direction where uh, these evil intentions basically cure themselves or um, annihilate themselves or create public awareness that is exposing the evilness of the system instead of attacking my non-existing evilness. So it's all, it's like like martial art dance. So let them come if they think they can, they want to play. And I, I mean, we're used to playing these games. We're under constant attack on, on many, many levels. Until now, every single step, the dark side, uh, uh, took unless you let yourself involve in aggression and this this duality thing. Um, it always turns out that every single action they took enriched our knowledge about the world and their system, um, made us grow, and weaken their position. So so I, I'm just completely relaxed. If they want to dance, let them come. Let's dance. I'm not mm -hmm. afraid of this. Because I can only win as long as I don't regard them as my enemy. And once you, you buy into the, their game, you're lost, of course. But there's no, nobody forcing me to buy into their stupid games. 
I don't feel like living in this pollution. Mm. And if they want to live bullshit, yeah, I'm the mirror exposing bullshit to everyone. So let them come. I don't care. Mm. Uh, when I have uh, learned that the whole story of Second World War, for First World War was totally different, that it was forces behind who has this plan for mm. First World War, Second World War, and now Third World War. And it's uh, how it's described in the letter of um, Albert Pike, Freemason, 33 degree Freemason, on from 15th of August, uh, 1871. It's described how the wars should be, and they were exactly how he described, and mm. now the hate against Islam and so. But what I have learned that when I have more studied this, that actually uh, the Jewish community uh, in uh, um, was the most integrated in Germany before Second World War. And yes. then also another thing is Francois Voltaire said something like, if you want to know who has the power in the world, uh, check what you are not allowed to talk about. And it's the thing that... <laughs> Yeah, we can, yeah. We, we can. Nice that you say this. Uh, in Germany, they just passed a new law that it is illegal and the same crime as being anti Semitic, openly anti Semitic, is to, to just announce critic, a critical point of view against the state of Israel. So they basically made the equation, equation yeah. Judaism, Zionism. So if you say something against Zionism today, uh, you can go into jail for six months just for speaking out whatever you you you, you speak out against uh, or about politics, military steps of this country. So if you say yes, if you want to to know who is having the power, look who uh, is controlling the world. Yeah, may, may, maybe this is it. Uh, I have to be a bit careful now because. Yeah. Uh, uh, this law brings me into into the position where where simple truth, yeah. simple truth without any comment on how I think about this truth, or of any moral um, value I, I give to this. Just announcing facts of history would bring me into jail, and this is a ridiculous uh, situation. And this is exactly what I mean when I say I'm just to the mirror. Yeah. Look where you brought yourself. You know what is yeah. this? Please, this is worse, or this is on the same level as the truth was the banned during World War Two in Germany, where you were not allowed to say things in public. This is where you come, and you, you, you they, they think they defend the world against fascism, while they become the worst fascists, fascists themselves. And this is the principle of projection. This is how the, the evil mindset works. There's no awareness of the self and all the, the crap inside the people or the disease or the illness or the satanic uh, consciousness within the people or the demonic consciousness within the people is just mirrored into the outer world. Like, like look at Trump. To, uh, yesterday he had his big speech about Iran. Uh, uh, telling people that Iran needs to be taken care of because it's the biggest terror supporter of the world. While the United States finance ISIS, give the ISIS all the supply with whatever they need, uh, give them air cover in the war in Syria, um, founded Al-Qaeda against the Russians in... So who the... Who is the biggest terror supporter in the world? It's the United States together with other countries. I'm not allowed to announce because of the German law would bring me into prison for announcing this, you know? So, so but Trump stands up and tells the world Iran is the biggest terror supporter while Iran is standing in Syria, uh, sacrificing the life of his soldiers to fight ISIS. Mm. Yeah, this is completely projection and turning around the truth into the absolute opposite of it. Mm. 
And this is what you see wherever a demonic uh, spirit is on board. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you, 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 you get used to it. So after a while, it's just, it's a bad joke to, to, to see the, this principle uh, take over more and more parts of reality. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you just recognize the principle, then you realize, okay, there's a demonic, satanic consciousness at work. And then you, you need to find your way to deal with it, which mm -hmm. is basically always the same. Uh, look if this at any point resonates with yourself. And if you find any type of resonance with yourself, go into yourself and heal that part of yourself to shut down and get rid of this part of resonance and this part of yourself that is also in in connection and in resonance with a satanic realm and this is kind of the way um, our reality diverts into two possible futures because because part of the people will clean themselves innerly and will continue living in a world where there is no resonance with the darkness to a point where there is no darkness left over in the world and the other part of the people will continue projecting the evil out of them into the world. Look at all the evil in the world and they will end up in a world where they are left alone as the last victims of evil. And then you have two completely uh, different universes that take different timelines and develop into different reactions. And the only choice one can make is, do I want to live in this divine universe or do I want to live in the other universe? This is basically the, the thing we can decide. Where do I put my attention to? And how do I deal with myself? Do I project my darkness whenever it is triggered by observing evil things? Yeah, do I... When I see something evil, do I point to the evil and say, this is evil? Or do I ask myself, why does this resonate with me? What is inside me that is triggered by this observation? Because whenever you observe something, inside is outside. This is one of the basic rules of, of the entire creation, that we are what we see. So if I observe something evil, I know there's a connecting point inside me that still is not in harmony. Because if I would be in harmony, this detail of reality would not bother me and would not collide with me. It would be somewhere else, some other people's problem, but not mine. So I have to, to relate to things in a way that I see something, I go back into myself, I ask myself the question, why and how does this relate to you? And then I can find my weak spot and cure myself. And then the problem outside will completely vanish, mm -hmm. either from my reality or from a reality altogether. Mm -hmm. This is the truth I found during those years of uh, having to deal with these uh, realm. It is, it is kind of a different realm. Maybe to, to give you an example how, how this works. Um, um, I know all kinds of people who, who have problems with black helicopters and black planes and um, entities that threaten them by flying over the home and whatever. I had this once in my life. It happened to me once. Um, and it happened in a moment where I went deep into a drama triangle in a savior victim relationship. And then the victim turned herself into the perpetrator role and started to have a go at me because she didn't want to go into self responsibility, but the victim role was basically cut off from her possibilities. So she had to make a choice either become a savior or become a perpetrator or become self-responsible and she rejected self-responsibility and decided for the perpetrator and this deeply hurt me because i spent quite a few months of my life saving her also involved in this drama training 
And this made me vulnerable. In this moment, a clairvoyant friend of mine gave me a phone call, told me there are seven helicopters having a go at you. Uh, get into your car and run. Leave the country, leave Europe. There's only one or two countries in the world where you are still safe. If you don't run now, I will never see you again. And I just kind of... Uh, um, didn't really know how to respond to this, so I went into the garden um, to think things over. And indeed, I could hear seven or a number of helicopters approaching me. So on a distance of 700 kilometers, she was precisely viewing what was happening. And then I stepped back in again, and luckily I was in the company of my healing practitioner, and he just had a look at me. And he, he just looked at me and told me, actually, you just suffered from an emotional havoc. You're out of balance. And he mixed something that was meant to bring me into balance again, to straighten me, to get me out of this emotional uh, pit I had fallen into because of this disappoint, disappointment from, from this relationship. And um, yeah, then I just drank his remedy. I got straightened again. I could literally feel how my axis was straightened. And the moment my axis got straight, the helicopters turned around and disappeared. You could hear them, like going, bub, 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 gone. And this is how this works. We attract these things by opening our awareness, by opening our um, perception to this dark realm. And whenever we do this, we do this in projection. And when we close ourselves to these things by healing the resonant points within ourselves, we get less and less and less and less contact to this realm. And if all humans would do so, the realm would disappear from our reality. And there's nothing this degenerated entity can do about it. So this is kind of the good news. There is a possibility. The kind of bad news is you need to work on yourself. There's no point in running around and uh, trying to save others or running around fighting some evil entities, getting them into jail. No, this is their game. And they're superior in this game. Yeah. Our game is uh, keeping ourselves straight and healthy and invincible and then we are straight and healthy and invincible and this is what lies within our possibilities everything else is uh, a game with an open result maybe i can even be the one who defeats some evil entity and then i'm the hero and i suck energy what do i add i, I add energy vampirism to the planet because as a hero everybody's staring at me trying to uh, or you know, trying to feed in me in my ego. So what did I add? I added ego to the world and I added energy of empirism and I didn't change anything because the one who was saved didn't save himself. I just cut him off from his ability and possibility to take a serious step saving himself because this is the only thing that counts. Whatever I can solve with myself, I can take as a lesson and step of development into my, like, my, my next lifetime. If somebody comes, comes along and saves my, me, I didn't learn anything. Yeah, I brought myself into, bad, uh, into a bad situation and somebody saved me, so what? I didn't learn anything. The bad situation would appear in next lifetime. And if again, a stupid guy comes to save me, then again, I didn't learn anything. So what does the savior uh, add? He's adding something to the satanic concept and to the satanic realm, stopping people from growing. Mm. I, would, <laughs> <laughs> I would mention only when you talk about this Jewish, I want to say that, uh, for example, Channel 077, he has people or other reports from good Jewish ordinary people uh, mm. who now in Israel and say our state is overtaken by forces so it's the ordinary good Jews and for me I can say that I see like it's the problem is that there is a cover-up that there are two types of Jews 
they are the Jews who follow I shall not I shall not murder I shall not lie deceive and uh, do crime and steal and take over the world and then there are the other Jews they they call themselves Jews and who are not who are Church of Satan they call themselves Jews but they are actually go back to Phoenicians the Phoenician language Mm. The Hebrew is from Phoenician, Phoenician language, and these are Canaanites. Um, like it's another entity who wants to steal, deceive, kill, and they have Nazi rights. In Hebrew, they call it Nazi rights, which is offerings, a sacrifice of animals or people. So it's Nazi rights they are doing. Either they sacrifice a child or Nazi rights if they provoke Second World War. So in my view, I call Jews the Jews that I know, my like teachers, old teachers, and my father's godmother who was real Jew, but not these fake Jews, Temple of Satan. And it's this that these call themselves Jews, but they are not these Jews. They are Temple of Satan, uh, lie, deceive, mm. take over the world, and you know who they are. And the, there is the a thing. The, the, the thing I want to is, say that there is an evidence that Victor Rothschild knew a couple of years before Second World War started. He knew about it. Victor Rothschild, who was Secret Service guy. So Rothschild and father of Jacob Rothschild. So who has provoked the war? Not Germans. I know an organization who, that is British <coughs> that you can mm. see that they know, knew about Second World War. And um, they were planning yes. 9-11. It's, it's a, a little bit, it's a difficult situation at, at the moment because I don't oh, know sorry. if even listening to you yeah, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, but, uh, the thing is, my no, everything is okay. My 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 policy on this is what I really feel. Um, I can address Satanism. This is a cult that originated from every interaction with the alien type of black goo, wherever it rained down from the sky. This has many, many, many sources, but actually it roots back to this uh, uh, introduction of the satanic consciousness into the planet, to the beginning of duality, the expulsion from paradise. This is the source of the black magic thing. And the black, black magic cults have the ability and the tradition to dive into other religions, states, organizations hide themselves within like a virus infection that takes over control from inside. And everything I know on this planet, literally everything now is infected by this type of consciousness. This is why we say we live in duality. And I, I want to leave it to the Jews to clean up their stable. I want to leave it to the Christians to clean up their stable. And I want to, to leave I want to leave it to the Muslims to clean up their stable and to all the other groups to clean their realm that they control because with like with individuals also with the religions and people, you can only work on yourself. If you don't do this, you project. So it's exactly the same thing like with me as an individual. It is with the people and the religions. The Muslim comes to tell the Jews you're wrong. You create war. If a Christian comes to tell the Muslims you're wrong, it creates conflict. And this is not the way. But if a Jew says, oh, parts of my religions are infected by an an evil entity. If a Christ, Christian says, oh, uh, the Pope is actually practicing black magic rituals, so oh, we need to get rid of this Pope, then this is within the possibilities to change something. Because it doesn't add to, to conflict, it adds to uh, uh, growing self-awareness of communities. 
So I, I my, my actually my mistake was that I, I thought that I could as a Jew in Germany criticize political acts committed by Israel. Uh, because I thought, okay, this is within my community. I did this in the feeling of I'm speaking for my people. What we do is not correct. But I was wrong because I did this within the territory of Germany, which brought me into this funny situation. But the principle is valid. If you take care of yourself, and if you take care of the responsibilities within your religion and within your community, then you can do something. If you stare at the others, you just add to the satanic game on this planet. Mm. But uh, you know what I actually believe about the solution? Uh, it could take another turn. I believe that the Illuminati are telling us that the Nibiru flyby will occur in the end of this year. And it's also what, for example, whistleblowers as Bob Dean, he is Sergeant Major, which is, which, which mm. is very high uh, top military grade. He, he said that it's at the latest as 2017. So the solution for the good Jews in Israel would be look at your tectonic plates. If these tectonic plates will, will change and move in the end, maybe in December, take your another exodus back to Europe, back go to USA, leave the country because these, these, these tectonic plates are not good at all for you there in, that re in this region. Take another exodus. It's like my reflection a little bit, but we will see what mm. will happen. We will see what mm. will happen. And then another reflection. What are we doing? How could it be? that we have United States and Great Britain in Security Council when you have an ongoing process, process right now, or now, in Great Britain, that uh, there is a very clear evidence that the regime in uh, Great Britain were planning a nuclear force flag during London 2012 Olympics. There are several mm. several witnesses. There is uh, Michael Shrimpton, the barrister. Mm. There is another evidence of uh, Ben Fellows. There are several people who were involved. You can see, for example, interview with um, Miles Johnston and super soldier mm. James Casbold, Michael Prince. Uh, in mm -hmm. 2011, who says that day before um, they know about these false slugs, another false slug that day before Fukushima, a secret service guy came to him, could we stop it? So he confirmed that Fukushima was a false flag. And these, like Barrister Ben Fellows, in the, there is numerous evidence that there they were planning false flag nuclear false flag in london on own citizens i was there actually mm. i was on uh, yeah mm. and uh, i was on ecuadorian embassy and they are in security council still and then united states could you say that there is no evidence that 9-11 was false flag this tower seven is so obvious that it must have been all, all governments of this world participate in the concept of power the concept of power is satanic all governments of the world are satanic all armies of the world carry the oak leaf on the uniform the oak leaf is the black magic symbol of blood sacrifice. So whoever fights in a war for a country is being blood sacrificed to Satan. Um, the entire Security Council is inhabited by representatives of black magic governments. There are maybe three or four left 
that are regarded as the axes of evil. This is where the projection thing comes into the game. They are not part of this satanic world order yet, like Syria, Libya, before it was taken down, uh, North Korea. Yeah, these are the countries who do not participate in this uh, uh, um, cult. And they are regarded as the last enemies of the planet to bring them down. So I don't care with Great Britain sitting in a Black Magic Council being Black Magic. This is none of my business. My business is me and myself mm -hmm. and whether I carry Black Magic uh, trigger points within myself. And I try to get rid of them as good and as quick as possible by looking what triggers me. Um, We, we we do have we do have these ugly incidents. I'm I'm very sorry about what happened in Fukushima, because it touches nature in a very painful way. It killed the Pacific, or it is now killing the Pacific, and the Pacific did nothing wrong, and it's not part of the gaming level. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm I'm not really in pain for the twin towers. These buildings were built out of greed and they served greed all lifetime and they came down out of greed. So what? Yeah, the people who were working in this tower were part 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 participating in the greed game and they were finally facing themselves. So what? Yeah, if the hundred hundreds of, of rumors that today the ground war will start in Germany with one million ISIS fighters trying to massacre the German population. Well, Germany helped to finance ISIS. Germany helped to maintain them. They did the, the uh, uh, observation of the airspace with German uh, uh, airplanes gave the data to the United States who gave them to ISIS to support ISIS on the ground. And now this terror comes back home to the Western country where it was invented and created. So what? Face yourself. You have been quiet when your governments created this terror. And now the, the terror comes to knock on your door. And you need to wake up to your own reality. This is you. Yeah? yeah, this is all the people who would have had the possibility to see whom they vote, who would have had the possibility to say stop in the moment when things happen. But no, Germany is supplying submarines to a country I'm not naming because then again it's getting Ill 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 illegal. So things happen. People show each other in, in a mirror situation what they actually are and what they live. And this is the only way, obviously, we do learn. I, I, will, I, I wish people would learn before they see the ugly side of themselves. I wish the Germans would have learned their lesson. Some of them did. There's a, a huge welcome culture in Germany that is aiming at healing the trauma of the people coming from the war-torn countries, which I think is going to minimize the damage done in Europe by what is coming now. It is different in France. In France, nobody gives a damn about suffering of other people. So France possibly will, will get hit harder by what is to come. In Germany, I can imagine that, that most of the ISIS people who are under contract and under finance of Georg Soros and uh, um, the black magic community will just not feel like killing Germans because they have experienced for the first time in their life, they experience something loving in their environment. I heard these comments from, from people who actually were ISIS. I don't want to give names, but... Uh, uh, they came to slaughter us all and for the first time in their lifetime they were treated like humans with love in Germany and they pulled back and luckily they had the possibility to pull back 
this is going to be difficult for others. And I know many, many, many stories of ISIS uh, people who, who were introduced to Germany for this purpose and who just want to return. They just want to go home because they don't even feel like doing what they agreed to do when they left. They are fed up of this, but they don't have a possibility because they were forced to convert to Christianity, to leave uh, faster, to be able to come on the top of the list of who is going to be taken out. And now if they return to their home countries, they will be killed because they are not Muslim anymore. So they're in, in a deep trouble. And I, I know that the Iranian embassy is offering a, a fully Islamic legal reconversion to Islam to save their lives, to make it possible for them to return. So whoever wants to return to his own country and has a problem because it's, he now officially is a Christian, he can ask for help and assistance by the Iranian embassy in Berlin. And they will help. Yeah. So, so whatever is happening out there, yes, it is ugly, but it is the, the quality of ugliness people obviously need to wake up. And this is homemade. Everyone defines the quality he needs to wake up. And if he decides not to wake up to a certain quality, the next attempt of uh, the one who is giving us qualities will be a little bit tougher. And if you still don't wake up, it's going to be even more tougher. If, it, if at the end it kicks your ass in a way that you don't survive, then you have not listened to the messages all your lifetime. So it's about time to wake up and listen to messages and respond on it, not in a way of going deeper into drama triangles, but on realizing this is you who needs to be fixed. And you can only fix yourself from your own higher perspective. Yeah, you, your higher self is the car mechanic and your incarnation is your goddamn car and one car cannot fix another. There's only one mechanic that can do the job and this is your higher self on your own incarnation. And this is what leads to something, because whenever you do this, you are out of the conflict zone. And I don't like solutions like, ah, oh, there is uh, uh, apoc apoc apocalypse coming and we all need to move to the mountain area not to be killed uh, by, by, by the incoming sea levels. Yeah, because this is not the quality of the game. The quality of the end time game is that everybody is actually meeting his own state of soul quality. Everyone gets mirrored all the things that he did not solve yet. And this is kind of what a judgment day is about. Whatever is fixed is fixed and whatever is not fixed yet, you are confronted with it. And there's no way to escape from this. And part of the problem is the mind set we are most of the people are living in. most of the people think that actually they are their ego they have full identification with the ego the ego is observing the world and understanding it in, in dualities causalities up down left right in out all dual and this is a good tool to make predictions and they think they can control reality by being predictive and intelligent. And this is what induces this idea I can escape from uh, the thing that wants to teach me who I am. No, you cannot escape because this part of reality is nonlinear. Yeah? I, I remember one family that was so afraid of World War III that they moved to Falkland one month prior to the Falkland crisis. This is the reality we are living in. You meet your master, ho however you try to hide from it. Um, you, will, you will meet him in unexpected places. So, no, the Jews do not need to leave Israel because it's a, te it's a tectonic uh, uh, um, area. They need to make their homeworks and realize who they are. And then the volcano will blow up next door and not at their place. Or they will be visiting friends next door where the volcano doesn't pop up. And they will survive because life is not linear. 
It is full of miracles once you open yourself to the trinary aspect of reality. Then your entire li life becomes trinary. And dualities do not have any power over you anymore. This is the trick, and this is only an inner decision. Do I turn myself into a part of the binary reality where, our, uh, where I predict and control things and run around in drama triangles to keep my emotional bit busy but ineffective? Or do I go into the trinary world where actually I, I live in the consciousness that everything I see is a reflection of myself? And when I want to see other things, I need to change my inner self in a way that the things I do not want to meet outside are not present inside anymore. And then they will disappear like a miracle from reality. And then I'm fully integrated in this trinary aspect of reality. And these are two different worlds. And I, I guess part of your humanity will continue living in a binary world with all the consequences. And part of humanity will go into a trinary world, which is free of problems, conflicts, uh, back to what we once were before duality conquered the planet. Mm -hmm. But I feel that here is a force hiding, and the force have done uh, has the um, they are planning at least for three last three thousand six six hundred years ago since previous Nibiru flyby to cover it up to spread their tentacles all over the world. Take mm -hmm. off the whole world, suck in all the economy of the of the people, and that this plan was ongoing without our knowledge, so that we have abdicated, or we have been abdicated our responsibility, and now suddenly, 2017, many of us see it, many of us know that there were plans to kill billions of people, and suddenly, people don't know how to handle it and many of us who can see it and can describe it maybe it's time to to do something about it so to say okay the the principles are wrong uh, the authorities are wrong and how shall we fix it um i I can only come back to that point. Yes, what you described did happen, but it did happen because we allowed it to happen. Yeah. There is no instance entering my space when I don't agree to this because I'm lazy or evil myself. If, if, if there is a demonic entity within me that is manipulating me and working through me to uh, rule this world, then I, at a certain point, was too lazy and too coward to feel myself. And by not feeling myself, I opened the chakra for a demonic possession. This is how it works. And this is the point where you can reverse it. You can reconquer your own body and chuck the demon out. This is how it works. But you need to acknowledge all the things that you suppressed um or that you removed from your awareness because you were too lazy and too coward to feel the truth so this is where it goes in again and then the the demonic part has no chance to work through and nothing has changed from this rule and of course we are completely taken over at the moment and what comes for the next years is the consequence of letting ourselves being taken over but there's no point in fighting these entities in the outer world. But there's a huge point in cleansing our bodies, making ourselves conscious and empathic again, and chucking, all, chucking out all this rubbish from our own system. But this is not easy. This is work. This needs 24-7 awareness and the, the willingness to go through painful and dark emotions, to reconquer yourself.
It's like a flat you never took care of. It's a mess. The inside of most of the people is a mess. And if they want to, to clear up their space, they need to go through this mess and take over responsibility that they messed up themselves. That's all. And it's, it's uh, on one hand, it's hard work. On the other hand, it's easy because there is, no, there is only one direction. And what it needs is the courage and the decision to go into this direction. And of course, it's easier. This is what the entire um, uh, new world, uh, um, uh, not, not new world, new, new age movement is doing. Taking care of the mess of other people, it doesn't work. Just, just a, a bloody excuse not to go into the real challenge of facing your, yourself and facing your own um, distortions and your own suppressed emotions. Yeah. Instead, going into these savior triangles, everybody is healing everybody else. Nothing is healed. It's just satanic illusion. Everything that happens there is satanic illusion. There is no real healing happening unless you heal yourself. You know how I feel? That I have been brainwashed the whole time, the whole life almost, like until four, four years ago, by schools, by you know media in Sweden, totally mm -hmm. totalitarian feminism that destroyed family. And now, like, I have waken up, I want to know the truth no matter what. Uh, I had a little bit slight crisis when I found out that extraterrestrials are, are real. I have, uh, read, I have uh, listened to all these scientists, whistleblowers, mm. and then I have seen a talking little gray. And it was a little bit kind of a crisis. I could still work and do my business. But I felt like a little bit shocked after that more and more things that were totally surprising for me came up like uh, this stargate uh, hoover dam cern mm. and cern is a very genocidal um, uh, how you call it device uh, that is absolutely uh, against any law of those countries who are the 22 member countries, which is Sweden as well and Czech Republic mm -hmm. as well. I am dual citizen. Uh, so, but now I know, now I want to take the responsibility. What shall we do? Well, the principles are wrong. Is it right that we educate, pay so much for education of lawyers, this law school, when I know as a psychiatrist and psychiatrists of personality disorders especially that the students who who start the school are much, there are there is much higher um, percentage of psychopaths sadistic psychopaths what kind of uh, uh, judges it will be it's much better not to have the school and go back to the moral take the moral people who will judge and also I can see directly already the first week I have talked to a student, law, law school student, first, second week she started and I told her this man is uh, convicted for murder that he absolutely not uh, didn't commit it. He was set up by Illuminati by this and uh, she told me well is he convicted has that has the judges said that he is he has done it well then it's done he shall be in prison and you can see that they are brainwashed already from beginning to accept the other judges judgment and it's partially or probably so away with the law school uh, look look at it it's done by the Illuminati in order to the judges pick the worst personalities and they judge and you can see the whole, uh, many of them, really a lot, have done 
<coughs> if you can understand it, and the uh, mm. uh, school of um, uh, journalism, it has worsened the situation if we wouldn't have the school. And if you see how the Illuminati has operated, they have said, we will give these people like pride that they have uh, schools or this and that. And these beliefs that they are like good judges or something more important. And instead they have consumed free food, free um, everything with the salary and what they have given back. We are in European Union where obviously there are people in, in the higher positions that are working with genocide, hidden genocide or open genocide. You can see um, uh, CERN, 22 countries as signed as member countries. And now you can see an, a YouTube channel like Killer, like Killers, which is obviously probably the boss of Illuminati, William Van Down, who is, I can feel his presence when I watch this, that it's William, it's professionally done, perf very beautiful music. It must have cost a lot like Killers and you can see what they are planning there. So, and they are, it's about it's straight programming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they try to program people into this dark reality by announcing it prior that it's going to, ha to, to be happening, setting these people onto the path into this future. Mm -hmm. This is all uh, programming of the ego. Uh, and if you look at the channel, especially, you have the symbol on the down right side of the screen, which is the key to the programming of the ego. This is how the ego was created. It is connected to the, um, to the uh, twin pyramid crystals in the arcs that are the devices that were created by the black side, by the, from the Atlantean, surviving from the Atlantean culture. This is basically the technology um, to create the ego as a black magic tool. Um, it is the association of the alphabet they use that has basically the same angular relationships as the symbol and every letter is a part of the symbol. So when you read the language, you have like fractions of the symbol appearing in your forehead or uh, connected to the eye while reading the symbol. By it, by the degenerated planetary spirit we know as Satan. And in the same line where basically he can read your mind, he can also use the same channel to fire thoughts back to take over and manipulate your ego. As long as you identify with it, his thoughts appear to be yours. Mm. So this is, this is uh, one thing that is set up, but um, as long as we are lazy to feel, and out of free will, we identify with our mind instead of going into the heart consciousness and realizing, oh, reality looks completely different over there. Um, and also, I myself look completely different. I'm not the hero. I'm actually the one who lost it. I'm the one who doesn't have access to his own emotions. I need to work on myself. This is what heart consciousness says. This is inconvenient to the bottom of the pit. Yeah. So it's easier to stay in the mind, yeah, to think I'm the hero who is doing a good job in the, in the drama triangle, I'm saving everybody else, I'm fighting, I'm a hero, I deserve to be fed by all these people who uh, adore me and think I'm a great one, who stare at me waiting to be saved, or whatever is going on in this drama triangle. This is convenient, and we buy into this convenience easier than to, to face all the challenges within the heart consciousness. Mm. And um, this is where we make our choice. 
the the the, the availability the the presence of the dark alternative this is just a test we are running through are we buying into this or are we strong and courageous enough to buy into ourselves mm. and everybody makes his own decision on this plane and I think most of the people have made their decisions. The only, actually the only reason why I still talk in public is because I, I have the feeling that many souls who made the decision into the self-direction, into the self-healing, into the awakening, are still a little bit lost and do not exactly know how to proceed with themselves. This is why I continue talking. I gave up on those who are too lazy. There's nothing we can do because they made their decision. And this is the freedom of choice we have. If they want to experience uh, what they want to experience, okay, obviously, obviously this is what they need to, to take the next step of uh, their own personal evolution. So who am I to interfere with this? And I fully trust, I fully trust the nonlinear aspect of reality. This is my belief, if there is anything, or this is my deep knowledge, because I experience it. This is what turns belief into knowledge. I experience that on the nonlinear level, there is no injustice. There's just the mirror you need at that moment to realize where you stand, who you are, and what needs to be done. And if this mirror, if this picture in the mirror gets ugly and cruel, it's a bad sign, yes. But it's a bad sign about our reality, of ourselves. It's a bad sign of, of, about how, where we stand, how unconscious did we get as a collective and as an individual. And the first step is going into the individual, and then you might have a chance if you solve things with yourself. You might have a chance to inspire others to also see the truth and take the necessary step within your community. This is step two. Step one is always get it done first. Imagine everybody gets the message and everybody is putting 100% of his energy and power uh, to do the step within others, do you think anything would happen? Do you think it would change a thing? No. Because then everybody would try to fix somebody who is not willing to be fixed, because you can only fix yourself. Nobody else can enter your system and do things you do not want to be done inside yourself. But you yourself can go into yourself and decide I do not live with this anymore. You can go into yourself and decide, I want to feel, I am feeling my unfelt emotions. I am feeling my pain, I am feeling my sadness, I am feeling my anger. Yeah? Just per affirmation, you do a miracle with yourself. If you tell this to somebody else, it's just sound traveling through the air, but no decision can be transmitted by this. If you do it on yourself, you have the power to decide. This is something people completely lost, that they are their own designers. They are their own car mechanic. This is the inner healer. It just states per affirmation and things instantly happen. And then you have to, to, to get used to the consequences. Then you have to to deal with the outcome of the healing you've done on yourself, to reintegrate everything into your daily life, to wait, what does life show me as the next step? This is the, the big service of life, of the reality, doing with us. It is showing us the next step. Whatever pops up next needs to be solved. And this is this nonlinear reality that functions like a Swiss clock, 100% reliable. And it's beautiful. This is the beauty of God that is given to us as a present to grow. And either we just neglect it and say, uh, I prefer to, to follow the dark amusement show. Yeah, and I say amusement show because there's always the hidden profit to it. 
if I'm the victim, everybody is pitying me. If I'm the perpetrator, I think I can control everything. And because I am good per definition, everything else must be good if I just control everything. The thing they don't want to see is all these perpetrators is that they have no self value at all. That they do all this just to escape from their own inner feeling of emptiness. Yeah, this is the hidden prophet, not to feel themselves. And the savior is the worst. Because he's stealing all the development, he's stealing all the energy. He wants to be seen as the hero who is saving everybody else. From what? From growing? From realizing who they are? What do you want to save people from? From themselves? No. I can tell you what I am doing, so I don't know what you say about it. Please tell me your opinion. I like uh, these four years since I have begun with this. Um, uh, I have evaluated Illuminati messages, which means I have seen this light killer mm. uh, um, channel I am aware of the, mm. the mind control but I feel I have to mm. watch it because it's my like a uh, little bit job to uh, evaluate it and put together with the information from from the whistleblowers and put it together and then prevent things by revealing them and if you see the channel on uh, the last last video if you would see it was i believe it was 12th of june 2013 the day after i have written mm -hmm. about this channel that they are threatening with nuclear force flags on big cities they are threatening with hard crimes crimes they are threatening this nazi global nazi system that they will uh, sterilize uh, all people by air water no escape if you watch it it's so evil and you see the uh, how well it is done how expensive it is done that it's probably the head of illuminati who is holding it William Van Down, and then you can see there the whole time that our Lord, the biggest day or the most important day of in the human history, is the 23rd of September 2017. What happened? I can tell you what happened. They say that on 23rd of September 2017 they will shut down internet did it happen no what happened that on our posters you can see charles bridge and you can see a statue with one of the the people is a, a czech king Vatsl, or no so what happened that at three o'clock the clock that i believe jesus died which knows these satanists a man was thrown down to the water killed murdered on the 23rd of september 2017 at three o'clock a well-known czech artist so it was a symbolic satanic sacrifice that they didn't get their way that their messiah, William Van Down, the head of Illuminati, would enter at three o'clock probably the temple of Sir Temple of Salomon in Jerusalem on 23rd of September 2017 and reveal for us everything and then say give us our ch your children we will save them nothing of that happened because people were evaluating the information from illuminati put it together with the information of uh, from the whistleblower and it never happened the temple is not even built he hasn't entered this we have still time to to analyze to wake up 
and everybody can do their work and i am i would like to have something like competent citizen if you are not competent citizen don't know the basic new facts mm. then you cannot be a leader you cannot take money from a leader as a leader mm. i want to have a international court of just people's international court of justice ruled by people who are not actually even mm. educated in the law and i you say germany has done this i would like to say 99 mm. percent of uh, german people as well as 99 percent of mm. swedish people there are me myself has paid taxi taxes without even thinking that we are we have been fooled and there are mm. laws that has been established we can reverse them i believe that you have a paragraph in your law as we have in criminal mm. law which is uh, swedish chapter 9 i believe paragraph 5 that if somebody let you sign an agreement and you have no you didn't know that it's like wrong for you that it's crime mm. genocide so mm. you you get back the money okay we have signed the mm. agreement about cern we have paid the money it was wrong we have paid the lawyers we have paid the the mm. um, how we call them politicians so that all people each people personally if they want to work with this and say okay i can contribute with this then okay mm -hmm. you get like one million euro compensation i don't mean in your like take away the state debt take away like uh, that you can get food in case it will be nibiru you can get uh, water in case it will be nibiru so you can get it not in money but maybe in uh, valuable things but the mm. depth of all citizens all over the, the world mm. will be taken away immediately because you know about this um, how you call it uh, this whistleblower Ronald uh, banker whistleblower Ronald mm. Bernard that he said that there are some eight eight thousand eight and a half pe mm. thousand people who has sucked up our all mm. our money like throughout ages. Mm. Yeah. Alexandra, um, let, let me answer, but I, I will go back to the personal level. I don't want to judge your path. I can share mine in honesty. And uh, actually, I have been doing very similar things. I discovered things that don't look so friendly. I share them in public. And I remember times when I did this, and it was like, it felt like an, like an addiction. If you share something that is scary, people give you all their attention. And they just look at you and you, you tell your dark and evil story and it's a thrill for everybody. And there is some kind of energy transfer attached to it that is feeding the one who is talking, who is sharing the bad news, who is sharing the ugly things. And I realized at certain moments that when uh, I was in, in company, I was with people and people were talking small talk that I felt the need and the, uh, um, the impulse to jump into one of these dark stories. Um, but I had to realize at a certain point that I actually did that for myself because it was giving me energy to share this and to get the attention by sharing this. So it was a complete isolated energy vampire game. I actively played with other people to suck them empty, leaving them with the same fear that triggered the game. The moment I realized that this is what I'm doing, I stopped myself from doing this because I don't want to live as an energy vampire. And I set up one golden rule. 
I still analyze my surrounding world. When I find a problem that actually needs to be solved on where I have the feeling this should go public, I look for a solution first. Not a solution somebody else can bring, but a solution that everybody can apply in his personal life. Like, for example, with the Morgellons topic, I didn't allow myself to go public with the Morgellons topic to the day when we had all the knowledge about the disease and all the possibilities available to just cure it. So there's no reason for fear left. And then you can go into the public, communicate the problems with the full knowledge of what it is without fear because there's no reason for fear left but only love and with together with this love you give the solution to people that is not a solution that i give them uh, but it is a solution they can copy to self-apply and self-responsibility and this is for me the narrow path where things really make sense yeah if you realize that the head of Illuminati is the head of Hollywood and you communicate this with a solution. Don't watch their crap anymore. You can do this with a laughing eye because the, 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 the boss of Hollywood as a, the head of Illuminati has as much power as he has as long as people fall to his poison. And if you reveal this and you focus on uh, never ever again go to a cinema to watch a film made by this child sacrificing bastard, yeah, then people have the choice. They can take your lesson, implement it, and this bastard will get less attention in this world. So you, you combine a problem with a solution that is strong enough to make yourself fear free. And then you forward the entire package of problem and adoptable, copyable solution to other people. And then you can leave it in their self responsibility to act or not to act. And it shouldn't bother you if people act or don't act because it's none of your business. But what you can do is you can solve things in your own life, find ways to deal with fears in a productive way that completely is erasing the fear. And then you can know, I found a solution that is worth something. As long as you just talk and transport, transport the bad news together with the fear you might experience yourself or the disgust you might experience yourself. As long as you do this, you only multiply fear and disgust. And then you play their game. So you are the filter to solve the problem for yourself. And solved problems can multiply as a solution. Unsolved problems multiply as unsolved uh, problems. And then they direct the attention to the wrong direction. Into the darkness, into the fear. So, so this is what, what I found as, as the directive for my own work. Um, to give as many people as possible the possibility to hook onto solutions and growth. And you cannot expect from people to find a solution if you do not find one. Yeah. And as long as this is not inside, that, that somebody finds a solution, you're just buying into darkness. And this, this doesn't really feel um, productive or as a step into the right direction. I, I, I know only little of your work. I, I was thankful for the information, uh, uh, how powerful this guy on top of the Hollywood business is. I wanted to know, so I looked into him once. We just called him up on the spiritual level to see how he reacts if he's addressed in the astral realm. And yes, this is a piece of darkness. Um, same level as the Rothschild family. You know, we, we did this before with members of the Rothschild family, just 
uh, testing how strong their black magic defense is when addressed, and this will be equal to them. So yes, you 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 put your focus on somebody of the top villains of this world. So what? Let's isolate him by not giving him attention. And then he's losing control because he knows his tricks, how to convert attention into power that lies in his hands. This is what Hollywood is about from the first minute, to gather attention that then is turned into the dark games. Like with the entire myth, they're multiplying with every single movie where you have like the, the drama triangle that is focusing to the showdown that appears as a solution because it, it involves a little bit individual healing of making something conscious that was unconscious before. This is why people buy into it. But it is a myth that promotes bloodshed. And all the bloodshed of this planet is running on this myth. So this is what Hollywood is about. So why don't you start consuming other stories that don't follow this path into the bloodshed? This is how you create a better world for yourself and your children. You don't send them to movies that end up in a bloodshed and then you will have a world at the end that is not consisting of a series of bloodsheds anymore. So it's about attention, and it's about cutting evil off in uh, attention. This is what it's about. And I, I, don't, I don't want to judge your work. Uh, test yourself, and if you feel like, uh, modify your approach to achieve more of this if you want to. Thank you, Harald. I have talked, we have talked now almost, I don't know, one and a half hour. Sorry, I took so much one, time. One twenty, it's okay. Yeah. It's, can, uh, the sun is still shining. I'm going to harvest the rest of the day. Oh, great. I can see that you have the diploma from Prague Peace Prize 2016. Yes. You are one of the laureates. Yeah. I can just mention that uh, if it will be anything next year in Prague. So I am thinking about the weekend around 23rd of September 2018. Mm. So you know it already now. So, so I can invite you then in case it will be, but it's around 23rd of September 2018, preliminary. So if you would like to be a speaker. Mm. Okay, but yes, uh, I would love to. I, I always enjoy it. Thank you. It's it's great. So uh, so we have a little plan. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. It was okay. really nice talking to you. Thank and you. I'm the same really. To the next events, hopefully in a better world already. It's yeah. it's taking huge steps at the moment. Yeah. You really. see, we see. Yeah. As far as I can see, uh, the dark side is dwindling away in huge steps. They are losing, losing their assets like nothing. And um, um, what we observe at the moment is a lot of madness that is caused by the loss of these assets. I, I do not want to announce anything big yet because we're also still observing but from all the little details, I get something huge happened that is positive. And um, um, I, I get, I'm, you know, I, I, I am addressed by many, many people who uh, try to work on themselves. And um, from all the people who still have these... Uh, dark who are trying to, to fight this off to get clean from this um, I get more and more information that actually the, the entire black magic setup the order of demonic entities the health and strength of demonic entities some, something must have hit this in the core and it doesn't function anymore 
the, 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 it, it would too lead too far to go into details now, but, but my feeling is if, if something looks weird at the moment, if, if people start to, to behave strangely, if they start to see strange things, if they become delusional or schizophrenic or paranoid, um, it doesn't really have a power on board anymore. This is just the madness of a dying entity, of a dying system. And it's, it is fully sufficient to refocus on the heart energy, on the, on the true self, and leave this madness behind because it lost power in a tremendous way. And I, I also, I do not see all of these uh, dark predictions happening anymore. Yeah, if, if, if Satan had an army of bio robots, they are out of function. This is my feeling I get at the moment. They are out, not, not out of function in the sense that they don't move around anymore, but they are out of control, out of central control. Something went wrong in their system. I don't know what yet. I have a slight idea, but as I said, it's too early to, to spread the word because it might be a trick as well. Um, but for, for the moment, personally, I am extremely optimistic. And all we need to face for the moment is ourselves. I don't have the sensation of the big entity in the background that is still pushing the dark side forward in an intelligent way. Uh, it is only the aspects we adopted in ourselves. We're still pushing or running autonomously into this direction. And it's, this just needs to be to become conscious. This is the beautiful thing about humans. We all have good intentions. The problem we have is being unconscious. And the moment you're unconscious, you can be manipulated uh, with your good intentions to run into a completely wrong direction. This is what is happening with all these villains worldwide. They're not bad people. They're just unconscious. And uh, now we will basically uh, confront ourselves with ourselves in whatever comes. I don't know how this will look like. It's, uh, the, the way I experience most of the, of the people, it needs to get ugly at certain points because there's a lot of unconsciousness within us. And we need to re-, re vive the consciousness about the things we lost inside, inside ourselves and it needs strong emotional triggers for that. This is about healing traumas. Traumas heal with the re -incinations. and we need these re to wake up unless we find a way to do it in a peaceful way. And this is our free choice so everything is in place. Maybe this is a good uh, Final sentence from my side. Yeah. Thank you very much, Harald. It was so great to talk to you again. And uh, I hope we will see each other in Prague next year and maybe talk to each other before that. Yes. Have a great harvest in your garden. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.